All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakhak Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone that rule well and taught us this truth. Citations to the whole four elect out there scattered across the four corners of this earth, preaching this word and this doctrine in truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is Brother Khakam from the GMS Miami camp, composed of the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Shai to make this video, to make this lesson on keeping the kingdom in your mind. Okay, stay kingdom minded. All right, because in these times that we're in, you know, we see that we at the end of this thing. And by that, I mean, we at the end of this rulership. Okay, which is America. All right, we see inflation on the rise, which is getting worse. You know, hyperinflation. You know, we see famine going on. We see shortages. Gas prices are going through the roof. All right. So we clearly see the signs that we at the end of this thing. You know, and um, it's very important that that we stay spiritual minded and not carnal minded. Okay, because all these things that I just said is going to get worse. All right. So it's important that we stay spiritual minded and not carnal minded. That we move according to the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because that, that carnal spirit, the Lord is not dealing with that. All right. The Lord is not dealing with that carnal spirit of the certain individual trying to get monetary gains. You know trying to get famous trying to get in that get rich quick uh spirit you know or or trying to chase that american dream it because the american dream no longer exists it stopped existing long time ago all right and america's about to, it's about to be destroyed you know we see an, an economic collapse that's about to happen very soon Okay, so it's very important that we stay in that spiritual mindset. All right, that we keep, uh, you know, the kingdom in our mind. Because we need to constantly dwell in that as, as, as elect men, as hopeful elect men. All right, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth, where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. But lay, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. All right, so we're not supposed to be laying ourselves material treasures on this earth. You know, we're not supposed to be in that carnal spirit, in that carnal mentality. We're supposed to be spiritual and lay up for ourselves treasures on heaven. You know, that's beginning with the knowledge, uh, wisdom, and understanding of these scriptures. You know, given to us by the Holy Spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai from our elders and apostles on down. Okay? So we need to stay in that spiritual mindset and that spiritual state. Because all these material things that are on this earth, it comes and it goes. See, a car. You know, you could be driving a car one day and the next day someone crashes into it. Okay, jewelry, you know, as, as expensive as it is, uh, you know, depending on certain individuals, a jewelry can rust too. All right. Money can get stolen. Money comes and goes. A house could get lit on fire and it could just be destroyed from one minute to the other. You know, so we're not supposed to be focusing on the things of this earth because it's carnal, but we're supposed to be uh, laying treasures of heavens, you know, uh, laying ourselves treasures in the heavens. OK, because that cannot be taken away. That cannot be destroyed. The physical can be, but not the spiritual. All right. And you know how Jake likes to say, oh, the Lord knows my heart. Well, yeah, he does. He dash, you know, he sure does. And it's and it's wicked. Because he say, you know, they they worship him with his mouth, but really, they just be they've been carnal since day one. 
All right. So the Lord, man, the Lord's telling us to not be on that spiritual and uh, and that carnal like uh, spirit, man. There's the book of Colossians, chapter three, verse one. If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things which are above where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on the things above and not on the things and not on things on the earth. Yeah, so we're not supposed to be carnal we're, because this earth is wicked. All right, this earth is demonic. Okay, because in the scriptures it says that the earth was given to the hands of the wicked. All right, and who's in rulership right now? You know, we got Esau, okay, the so called white man that's in rulership right now. And he's defiled this whole entire earth, completely polluted it, defiled it spiritual, uh, spiritually and physically. All right. And the things of this earth, man, is completely wicked and demonic. Everything that this earth has to sell, everything that these so-called holidays and these days of celebrations, it's all against really the scriptures. It's really against the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Shai. You know, so we're not supposed to be setting the, our affection on this earth, but the things above. OK, because hey, the scripture tells us not to love the world. All right, matter of fact, we can get that. <clears throat> this is the book of 1 John, chapter 2, verse 15. Love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. If any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the lust of the flesh and the lust of the eyes and the pride of life, is not of the Father, but is of the world. And the world passeth away, and the lust thereof, but he that doeth, but he that doeth the will of God abideth forever. Right, because that's that, that carnal like spirit, man, is not of the Father, that is of the world. Okay? And that, that's the uh that's the gift that the, the Israelite man was given to be spiritual. You know, nowadays, now these days, you know, these last days. You know, these two thirds, they're walking in their lust. They're walking in pride. As well as the rest of these heathens, man. They're walking in the flesh. But really, who's walking in the spiritual form is really, in these last days, is going to be the elect men. All right? Because they're walking in a different vibration from the earth. Because the earth has a wicked ass vibration to it, man. But the, but the elect men, they're walking in that spiritual vibration in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, not walking in the pride of life, not walking in the flesh and the lust of the eyes. That's being spiritual. Okay. Didn't didn't um Yahweh Shai said if they hated you then they hated me first. Right? Because he was not of this world. That's why he got so much hate and they wanted to uh take him up to the cross. You know, which is ultimately what's going to be prophecy. But I goes to show that this world is wicked, man. And we're not supposed to love this earth, but we're supposed to, um, you know, walk in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, stay in that, in, that, in that mentality of being a king. Stay in that mentality of, of, of the kingdom. You know, not being carnal. Being a brother. All right. Having charity and showing love. Because love... Is a is an action before it's a word. All right, and being a brother is also having that kingdom like mentality because you're, um, you're satisfying Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai by being a brother. So if you're satisfying the Lord, that is being in that kingdom like mentality. All right, so we're not supposed to love this world, man. This world is wicked as hell. Okay, and all these uh and all these other two thirds, men. That are walking in that spirit, hey, they're gonna be receiving their judgment. They're gonna receive their judgment, okay? This is the book of Luke, chapter 12, verse 31. But rather seek ye the kingdom of God, and all these things shall be added unto you. Fear not, little flock, for it is your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. So Hey, the Lord wants to give us the kingdom. 
if we want the kingdom, just imagine how badly Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai wants to give us the kingdom and rule along with his elect men. All right. That just goes to show, you know, how beautiful, uh, how beautiful this, uh, you know, this mentality is. Because being in that kingdom mindset is being in the king in, in the spirit of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, so that's why we gotta seek the kingdom, and we seek the kingdom by abiding, you know, by abiding uh, in Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and doing his and doing his work and doing his will. This is the book of Luke, chapter twelve. Verse 31, but rather seek ye the kingdom of God and all these things shall be added unto you. Salakia, so um, let me get the book of Matthew. This is the book of Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. Take yet therefore no thought for the morrow, for all morrow shall take thought for the things of itself sufficient unto the day is the evil thereof. Right, so we're supposed to be seeking the kingdom and its righteousness. Okay, and not be worried about what we have uh, to do tomorrow. You know, obviously, you know, using wisdom, you know, it, it's planning out uh, certain things. Okay. Because we're still in captivity. You know, and, you know, balancing is, is an important part of of, uh, of having wisdom and walking in this ministry. But we got to seek ye the kingdom first. OK. So we got to be humble as 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 beautiful as, um, you know, these scriptures are. We still got to walk in that king, in that king like mentality, but humble, humbly, you know, and meek. Right, because this is not our rest, as the, as the scriptures speak of. Okay? So we're not supposed to be carnal, you know, because we are kings and we're gods in this thing. All right, so we got to walk in that king-like mentality and that priest-like mentality and that god-like mentality. Okay, I'm going to get a few more scriptures here and I'm going to close out. This is the book of John, chapter 10, verse 34. Yahweh Shai answered them, Is it not written in your law? I said, Ye are gods. So, <laughs> Yahweh Shai was telling these wicked ass Jews, man, that they were being carnal. Um, that isn't it written that ye are gods? And here he's quoting um, the book of Psalms. All right. He's quoting the book of Psalms here, chapter 82. But he was telling these wicked ass Jews that they didn't believe that he was the, you know, he was the, the, the son of Yahweh. That um, he's telling them, isn't it written that ye are gods? Right? So, hey, the Israelite man, you know, is a god. The so called black, Latino, or Native American man is a god. All right? But really, specifically now, the one who is a true god is the elect men. Okay? Start, starting with the 144,000, all right? Which is uh, included in the one third, right? And I want to get that book of Psalms too. This is the book of Psalms here. Chapter 82, verse 6. I have said, Yea, are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. So, hey amen. We're gods, and we need to walk in that and that godlike mentality. All right. And the elect men are going to be walking in that godly vibration. They are going to be walking in that spiritual vibration. In the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And they're not gonna be walking in the dust of the flesh. Okay, but they're gonna be walking in the spirit. You know, and they're gonna be moving different. They're gonna be talking different. You know, they're gonna have a different vibration from these other humans all over the world, all around the world. I'm gonna get the book of Revelation here and I'll close out. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 5, <clears throat> verse 9. And they sung a new song, saying, Thou art worthy to take the book 
and to open the seals thereof. For thou wast slain, and hast redeemed us to God by the blood of every kin kindred and tongue and people and nation. Okay, and that word redeem means to buy back. So who is Yahweh Shai buying back? The remnant of Israel, which in these last days is going to be the elect. Okay, so Yahweh Shai had to die on the on the cross and shed his blood in order for us to be redeemed back, in order for us to have salvation, you know, and be uh have a chance of the kingdom. Okay. Verse 10, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. All right, so the scriptures are telling us that we are gods and we're priests. You know, we got to walk in that mentality. We got to walk in that spirit. Especially in the times that we're coming into. All right, not being carnal. All right, being a brother. You know, because being a brother is also uh, having a kingdom, having that kingdom-like mentality. Could Because you're, you're satisfying the Lord. You know, you're being charitable. The Lord loves seeing that. You know, you're showing love and, and love is actually an action before it's a word. Okay. Amen. So that's why it's impossible. That, that's why it's very important that we walk in that, in that spirit, you know, and constantly be dwelling in the kingdom. All right. Because every single day when we wake up and we go to work and we got to deal with these, uh, these damn bosses and, and, uh, you know, these wicked ass coworkers and we got to clock in so on and so forth. All that shit is all that shit is temporary, man. And America is soon to get destroyed. And the next kingdom, which is the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, is going to be established on this earth, and is going to be ruled in righteousness. And <clears throat> we're gonna have the kingdom, and we're gonna subdue them into captivity and make them our slaves. All right, so we gotta be in that mentality, you know, and continue to dwell on it, and continue to stay in the spirit of Yahweh of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Keeping the Lord in our hearts and in our spirit, and as well as the kingdom. All right. So that's about it. All right. So with that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rachat Wadash. I hope and I pray this lesson was edifying. I'll see you on the next one. Shalom.